This R. Askredit user asks. What was the biggest misconception that you had as a child? You could get pregnant by kissing. Ah yes the old kiss conception misconception. I used to think you get pregnant by cuddling as well. There was a whole period of my life where I avoided having too much contact with my teddy bears. Women give birth through their AS and not their VA. People actually died in movies. This must have been quite horrifying as a kid. I thought that Kung Fu was a sort of duel of life and death, you challenge someone and you fight until one of you is dead. The other person doesn't have any injures or anything, he magically recovers all HP and is ready for another fight. DNU. Nintendo. Brandon Lee has entered the chat. The ground separates during an earthquake and you fall in. As you age you get more mature. You don't. You just get better at hiding your nonsense. If you missed an exit on the highway you would basically end up in a different state. Judging by the way people cut across four lanes of traffic rather than spend a few extra minutes turning around at the next exit. I feel like there are some adults that still think this is true. Well there's this one exit on the 401 in Ontario. If you're heading to Guelph. And you miss it. It's literally 35 minutes to the next exit. There are a few in eastern Ontario like that as well haha. My aunt convinced me for a full year that a place known as Wally World's Chapstick Emporium existed. A year later. I asked my mom if I could go to Wally World's Chapstick Emporium. She said, what's that? And I said my aunt told me about it. Come to find out. It was just Walmart. Beautiful. I honestly believed that if I sat close to the drain in the bathtub while letting the water out. Then I would be sucked out with the water. All dogs were males. All cats were females. I thought this too. I remember being little and seeing this lady walking her dog and being rude and just running up and petting it and asked her what his name was. She said her name was Sarah or something and I was like, it's a girl? and looked at her like she was stupid because there's no way there's such a thing as girl dogs. I know it's not true but when I had a female German Shepherd and a male cat. As an adult, I still would get the pronouns wrong all the time. I thought that if I tilted my head to one side for a picture, it made me look sexy. God knows what I thought sexy meant back then. But it was only something naughty girls did. So I would wait until right before the pic was taken. And then quickly tilt my head right as the shutter went off. I am imagining a school-aged girl. All nicely dressed up. Violently twitching her head for the cameraman on school picture day. And I genuinely laughed. Thanks. I thought this said missed contraception. I was going to say the condom my dad has on. I used to believe the earth was flat. Colon. P. I thought all my friends' families were all so rich and mine was so poor. Turns out my parents just decided to not go into a shitload of debt. My family wasn't rich by any means, we were solidly blue-collar middle class, but my parents were smart with their finances. I thought this too. Turns out my family was just smarter with money and it taught me not to be materialistic or care what people thought as I got older. I thought being fired from work meant that the fired person gets killed. Every time my mom would tell me and my sisters not to bother her or she could get fired from work. She partially worked from home. I assumed that her boss would come into her office and literally shoot her. I was so terrified that my mom would get in any trouble at work. Oh my god. I thought a really similar thing. Whenever people would explain people getting fired to me when I was really young they'd say, less than, person greater than, got fired and lost their job. Which made me think, well, I guess that means getting fired and losing your job are two different things. Quote. And so that meant I had to come up with an explanation for what being fired is. So I thought, well, it must mean you get burnt. Right? Quote. Yeah, no. I'm sorry James. Due to budget restrictions we need to cut back on staff. Pulls out flamethrower. 
I would see Q-tips in my mom's trash can that were black on both ends. So I thought when I got old my earwax would turn black. The first time I had to take off eye makeup and my mom told me to use a Q-tip to do I was like oh. The first time I went on a family vacation. I sat in my living room asking when the plane was going to get here. Thought it stopped at everyone's house and picked them up. I thought ponies were baby horses. Is that not the case? St. I thought adults couldn't run because I've never saw my parents running. Not really can't run. Just really don't want to. Thought that quicksand and the Bermuda Triangle were some problems I would encounter more often. For whatever reason I always thought limes were just unripe lemons. When I was in my early 20s I went to buy a lemon tree and was so confused to see the had lime and lemon trees. I feel like an idiot every time I think of it. This lime lemon thing is especially confusing for non-native English speakers. Where I live limes and lemons are just two different types of lemon. The word limon for two different fruits. I mean pepper. My ex-GF and her sister had hypothesized that male underwear have bigger stronger waistbands because it needs to be able to support the BS like bras holding BS. I thought a potluck was where everyone brought food to a party and put it all in one giant pot. Then you would scoop out a plateful and whatever you got was your luck. That actually sounds fun. And disgusting. I mean. With a little bit of planning you can make a nice stew that way. It would be pretty bad if everyone else brought stew stuff and Karen decided to bring jello and then insist on also putting it in the stew. That pork and beans is not pork and beans. There is pig in there. Pork and is not a flavoring. Chicago was in China. What? Well I'm an Australian and I remember thinking that Chicago was in China when I was six. Okay okay. Understand now. I thought drinking and driving meant having any beverage in a vehicle. Had no clue about alcohol. In kindergarten I reported my mom for drinking and driving in the middle of a school assembly and they called her in for a meeting. Everyone thought it was hilarious but no one corrected me or taught me what it really meant and I think it was like 6th or 7th grade before it all clicked. In the song that goes, I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus, I straight up thought that the kid caught the mom cheating on their dad lol. One of the rare songs that becomes less FD up the more you understand the lyrics. I think it becomes more FD up. Oh what a laugh it would have been. If daddy had only seen. Mommy kissing Santa Claus last night. Quote. That kid took sadistic glee at the thought of his dad being cucked by Santa. Ha ha. I had not thought of that. I thought having a job was just you picking a company you like. Waltz in. Find an empty spot and start doing something. I had no concept of interviews, tests, and all the paperwork involved. To be fair, some of the older generation act like that's the way it is when giving advice. My grandfather told us stories that it used to be like that. There was a severe labor shortage. So you'd walk into a factory in the morning and get hired on the spot. If you didn't like the work you'd quit after a short period and just go to the factory next door. Repeat. He said he had about 16 jobs in one week at one time. Some factory work is still like that. Source. Worked in a factory. Was hired on the spot and told to report for work that same day. I thought that babies are born from cabbage. That mountains grew. Cuz my dad joke dad said table mountain was just knee height when he was a boy. I mean. They do. Just very slowly. That there was absolutely no way I'd ever get to be as old as the adults in my life. For some reason it seemed more likely to me that I could become a dog than that I could age into even a 15 year old. In the 70s. I was 8 yo. I remember asking my mom if I would live to see the year 2000. She said I would. Though I didn't believe her. To a child. 25 years is a long. Long time. Now 25 years seems like a blink of an eye. 
I suppose the fact that it's literal lifetimes away from a child's perspective makes it difficult to fathom. Even one day feels long. Because it's a relatively big portion of your life up to that point. And it's filled with so many new things being thrust at you constantly. As an adult. Now. I have to actively seek new knowledge and hobbies. But even so. The vast majority of my day is exactly like the previous 365 of them and will be very similar to the next 365. Not me but my daughter. She thought the blinking light of the turn signal was telling us where to turn. I found out when she asked how the car knew where we were going. For some reason I thought prison time was an inevitable part of life that everyone would experience. And it frightened me. I don't know why. No one in my family has ever done time. I thought that men had two separate sacks for their testicles. When I gave my first hand job I thought my BF had an accident and then had them sewn together. Personally I blame all the pen as graffiti shot led me to believe that's what they looked like. BK seams do look like they were either sewn together or a slop left over from the Play-Doh machine we came from. This is the only place I can admit this. I'm 21 years old. Been doing SX with penises since I was 16. But I also was under this misapprehension about ball anatomy until very recently after I got a BF. At first I thought he had a rare one ball thing going on. Until I felt the two lil orbs inside the one bag and it finally clicked. And I realized people never say ball sacks. Quote. Why you got to say orbs law? I had to find a four leaf clover and keep it just in case a leprechaun shows up. That everyone I ever heard about was from my country. Eminem? French. The Pope? French. The Rolling Stones? French. Of course. Elizabeth II? Congrats. You're now the Queen of France. That last one got me. Mate. There's a great line from the movie, A Knight's Tale. The Pope might be French. But Jesus was English. Quote. I'm gonna be the happiest person alive when I grow up yay. I though people hid inside ATMS and gave people the money. I thought this was stoplights. Little dudes inside would push buttons to change the light. The older you get, the more fingers you will grow. Also women lay an egg each month. But it can take them by surprise. So restaurants have paper bags for women to store their egg in. Spontaneously growing fingers sounds terrifying. But not surprise egg laying in a restaurant though that's pretty chill. As a kid my dad told me that if you followed a street as the crow flies you would get to the name of the street. So like follow the direction of Denmark Street around the globe and you'll end up in Denmark. I didn't question this as possibly being untrue until well into my 20s. Because I am an idiot. That my dad just always knew the way. On vacation. In unfamiliar cities. Everywhere. I learned about maps and reading road signs later. Edit. Wow. Thanks for the gold. I'm still amazes that people managed to drive somewhere new without GPS. I remember the first time I encountered a GPS in a friend's car and I nearly cried. She said I just enter the starting address and the destination address and it will tell us how to get there. I thought that's bullshit. There's no way that's going to happen. The first time I realized the blue dot in Google Maps was ME on my Blackberry Bold. And holy st. It's moving as I am driving. Holy st this is live? Dude I was fg beside myself. I couldn't believe the blue dot was me moving on the google map. I though losing your voice was literal. Like you only had so many words you could say in your lifetime and once you used them up. You lost your voice. To make matters worse my sister who is 5 years older than me is deaf and never spoke that not everyone has a sister. I was certain that everyone had a sister like me and when I went to a friend's house to sleep over I was dumbfounded that his sister wasn't there. His parents ended up showing me a picture of some random kid and told me that was my friend's sister just to shut me up. That's a great way to end it.
not trying to convince the kid, but just showing some random girl. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.